is Das coming to work at the uh, at the cinema project, uh, and uh, we're going to follow him inside today. And we're, go we're sweeping around and look at the foyer, and we we're going to be going up the stairs to the uh, to the cinema. Uh, can you tell me what your name is and what position you hold within this organisation? I'm Rena Cash and I'm the chairman of the Byron Community Project. And how long have you been chairman of this project? Uh, it's about three years now. Uh, was you pressed or did you volunteer? <laughs> a bit of both really. Um, I volunteered, uh, there was a meeting for Save the Byron uh, which we went along to. We thought it would be a nice thing for me and my husband to do at weekends. And about four months later I became the chairman of the project. <laughs> This building is a Marmite building, you either love it or hate it, and I fell in love with it. And I think what it can do for our community is just, it's amazing. We've just finished the restoration as much as we can do, um, and now it's on to the fundraising to try and progress it to its full potential. So are you going to uh, carry on? The last budget um, was 1.9 million, and that was to do everything that we need to do. Is that to secure the building or rent the building? That, that's or? everything. That's to, that's to buy the building, that is to renovate, to put the modern day equipment in that she needs, the central heating which she desperately needs. Well, I can tell you <laughs> that after, after today, Mark. Yes, go on, carry on. <laughs> um, it's to do the electrics, the new screen that is required, um, to, to put the Xbox and Playstations in, to have the stage reinforced so we can do theatre and live performances. And what is the ultimate aim at the end of the day? We're hoping that it's going to be an entertainment hub that will suit everybody. It's hoping to do things from Xbox, Playstation, to live music, to stage performances, conference venues, as well as a cinema and a theatre, with a rooftop garden um, and a little cafe so you'll be able to come and get a glass of wine in between the cinema and the theatre changeover. So there was actually no season when you first came? No, no, it was derelict. It was almost like they um, closed the doors ten years ago and walked away. There was even fossilised ice creams on the floor when we first came. Oh, I bet that was really nice. But it was fantastic to clean, yes. <laughs> yes. So you, did you have a big army of volunteers to help you or do you do it all yourself? No, there's a... We've quite a few volunteers, um, depending on what events we're doing. Um, we did tie in with Learn Direct and Ingis and provided work placement schemes for people. Some of those have came for four weeks didn't, and they're now here two years later. So there's been over 200 people come through the doors helping, doing different jobs, and so it's been a, a really big, big project. Okay, then, Daz, well. this is where you've done yeah, all is, the work, then. Yeah, this is the auditorium. These. It's been uh, re redecorated in its original 1930s colours. You've got uh, 428 seats in that have been fully restored and refurbished. I bet that was some major task they wanted. It? it took months, months and months and months. All the all the backs of the seats and everything were taken off, stripped back, uh, uh, restained and varnished and replaced. The seat, this, all the uh, floors underneath the seats have been stripped back to the original oak. That was a that's a, that's still an ongoing task. The bottom deck is complete. The top deck has just been started. Uh, going through all the carpets and sticking all the carpets back down and um, as I was pushing this piece back on uh, I felt something underneath so I lifted the carpet up and I found this uh, vacuum cleaner point where they would have uh, stuck their hose in and hoovered the auditorium. This is called the letters room where we keep the uh, letters for the um, main board. So are these, you believe the originals? Yes, I believe they are, yes, yeah. Um, we have to climb up on top of the canopy to change the, the uh, letters ourselves every now and again to uh, advertise when the next project meetings are and the next events that we're producing. And there was uh, one, one guy that uh, we had uh, volunteering for, he was a lovely lad. Um, I asked him to come and uh, touch the magnolia walls up for me because there was a little bit of damage on, on them after we'd um, done this staircase. 
So off he trotted with his uh, tilted magnolia, uh, and I came up after about an hour or so to see how he was getting on. And it, it, mis it oh, we clearly misunderstood me. It, it painted over all these uh, beautifully painted stairs in the magnolia, and we spent the, the next couple of hours trying to get the uh, magnolia off and get, get it back to where it is now. Everything in this room is what we've uh, discovered when we've been poking around the place, in the roof and under the floors. Start. Those are the, were the original uh, paint cans uh, from the original building. And we're now in the projection room and this uh, is the projector and it's a, a reel to reel and it dates back to the 1960s uh, it's not a digital produced projector like, like there would be today these were all operated by uh, maybe two men or two people I believe that uh, uh, you came along to do a four week stint as a volunteer did, yeah, I, I, and two yeah, years later two, you're still two here two years ago I, I, I volunteered to do four weeks and I'm still here two years later we have got the full, full backing of our local community um, lots of our little groups in the town they support us um, and it, it is one big, one big community project and it was my favourite thing about that day and it does really well got a big screen, it's very loud, so I can hear it. And you get popcorn, and then at the stand you get to see new films. There's a giant screen, uh, you get to have popcorn, it's awesome. Is that it's a non for profit, so everything that it, it makes it's going to put back into itself and back into the wider community. We want this to be something that Hutnell can be proud of again and the whole community can own. So this is run by the people, for the people, and hopefully when we buy this building, everybody will own it and everybody will take pride in Hutnell once again.